How's it going everybody? The long-awaited tutorial is finally here and we are going to be learning how to make a joystick on scratch. So let's just get right into it. Um, I've come up with a, a really easy and simple mechanism for this. So here's what we're gonna do. Start by creating a new sprite and I'm gonna call it base. All right. Um, and it's just going to be circle, and we're going to do a light gray color for now. So make it be however big you want your joystick to be, pretty much. So I'm going to have mine about that big. Uh, maybe a little smaller. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to put it... Try to find a good position for it. I'm going to put mine... Minus 160, minus 105. We'll do that for now. All right. So there is your base. All right. So now we're going to create another sprite. And we're going to call it mouse pointer. Mouse pointer. And you're pretty much just going to paint a tiny little dot on your screen. Right, right there in the middle. All right, and with this, we're going to say when the flag is clicked forever, and we are going to go to go to mouse pointer. Nope, go to mouse pointer. All right, and we can set the ghost effect on this to 100. So the reason we have this is it's going to be for more precision where the, the mouse detection is, and we'll get more into that. So finally, we're going to create one more sprite, right? One more sprite, and we're going to call it joystick, right? Now this is where, this is where all the action goes, right? This is where the functions for the actual joystick are. Okay, so you're going to make this a little bit darker than your base. So I'm going to do, and you're also going to make it about... Uh, not that big, I don't think. I'm going to say about there. All right. You're going to try to center it as best you can. Put it probably in the same exact position. Uh, minus 106, 105, or minus 160, 105. And you don't have to have yours in the same spot as me, but if you want to just follow along directly... That's where I'm going to place it. So something like this, okay? All right, and now we're going to start with the joystick script. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say when flag is clicked, forever. And then we're going to grab an if, then, and else block. All right? And so we're going to say if mouse down, what we're going to do is we are going to point towards, oh, point towards mouse pointer. Now, do not be mistaken with this mouse pointer. So this is the mouse pointer sprite right here. So make sure that you have selected the mouse pointer sprite and not this mouse pointer here. All right. And the reason we're doing this is because whenever you're moving your mouse around, sometimes when it's detecting and pointing towards your mouse pointer, uh, it's not going towards where the mouse actually is it's going towards where it's going so if i'm for instance if my mouse is moving uh up and stuff and then i start moving it down then the joystick is going to detect down even if the mouse is still up there so anyways just make sure you have this mouse pointer sprite selected in there that's very important and then we're going to say move 10 steps all right and now we're going to go to variables and we're going to create two variables. We're going to call this one X factor. And then we're going to make one and call it Y factor. Okay. And here's what we are going to do. We are going to set Y factor. Or no, we're going to set X factor. Go to operators and we're going to grab a subtraction block. And then we're going to grab another subtraction block and put it in this last, in this last parameter here. So we're going to do that, and then what we're going to do is go to sensing and we'll grab the backdrop number of stage, okay, and put it in this 
first here, right there. So what we're going to do is we are going to set X factor to and go ahead and select uh, base. We're going to do X position of base and I'll go to motion and go X position. So we are going to set X factor to X position of base minus X position. Oop. And now the same exact thing is going to go with Y factor. So we're going to set our Y factor to y position of base minus y position. All right, and now we're going to do this. We're going to say if and then not and then go to sensing. We're going to say if not touching base and we are going to move negative 10 steps. So we're going to grab this and say move negative 10. All right, okay, so now in the else, what we're gonna do is we are going to set X and Y factor to zero. So X factor to zero. And now we're gonna say set Y factor to zero. And then we're just gonna go back to the normal position of negative 160, negative 105. So let's go ahead and test this out. So as you can see, we now have a good functioning working joystick, all right? Um, so how can we make this work with a game, right? So this is going to be entirely dependent on how your game runs. That's why we have this X factor and Y factor variable. So you're going to be able to manipulate and detect when these variables equal something. So for instance, I could say this. I'm just going to call this sprite player. All right. Um, and this is just going to be an example. Uh, but you can kind of mess around and kind of see how I used these variables and, you know, put them in play inside your own game. All right. Here's my very unamused player right here. So I'm going to place him there. Uh, pretty much I could do something like this. So as you can see, whenever, whenever I'm moving this way, X factor is, you know, it's way up there in the positive numbers, right? So uh, as you, you know, so we got 79, you know, 75. And then if we move it over here, it's in the negatives. Same goes for the Y. If we're up here, the Y factor is positive and down here it's negative. So we can use that to our advantage. We can say something like this. When flag is clicked, forever, and we'll say like, I don't know. We'll say if x factor is greater than zero, then we could, I don't know, change x by five. And then we can do the opposite and say if x factor is less than zero, if x factor is less than zero, and we'll change x by negative five. And now if we go and test this, oh, okay, uh, let's restart the project, that's what it was. So as you can see, boom, there we go. So we have a movement based on the joystick, right? So this is going to be really good for mobile controls. Uh, so yeah. That was probably the easiest joystick tutorial you're going to find out there. So just make sure you know how to manipulate the X factor and Y factor variables, you know, to however your game is going to work. And then you're all good to go. So I hope this tutorial help, helped you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.